Hi there. In this video, we will be assembling this uh, Intex uh, tent for kids. These are the dimensions and my daughters will be helping me. So let's see if this thing is any good and if uh, it's worth buying. Here is the frame, so the poles and in theory, oh, even more poles, okay. And in here, Yep, the, the tarp of the, the tent, the exterior basically. Oh, yes, your tent. And we still have stuff in here. Yep. yep, I know what that is. These are the connections, even more connections. And all the instructions are here. Let's see any English play tent. If you need to read the info and here is in theory how we assemble it so we make the base then the uh, height of the poles then the connections at the top and then right in the middle all the connections and then we just come with the tarp on it and hopefully it will be all good but we will see so let's have fun At the base we will be using this type of connection with the three holes, as you can see in there three holes. And at the top then we will have the one the ones with four holes. So let's get to it. Okay, so I will start connecting these things. Uh, obviously plastic, uh, but fairly thick plastic, so that's good. And in here we have those ribs deep in the hole which will actually uh, latch onto this so it's not a friction fit from the start and my daughter poking my hand as you can see it goes in quite easily and then it begins to grip a bit deeper in there like that so yeah that's cool up until now and these are quite well braced quite thick uh, bracing here don't see any issues with it. Doesn't feel like a brittle plastic or a soft plastic. It feels good. So up until now, I'm happy with what I see. Bottom part of it is finished. So now uh, I will start using the longer poles to create the height of it and go from there. Now starting to put these things once I've put uh, all this around and these have a particular position as you can see they are uh, hey stop it they are uh, like this they have uh, these three closer to each other and one on the opposite side somehow you can see it's, it's almost by itself here so this is the one that goes into the, the poles so let me do that all around, my daughter helping me. Now that all of these are in place, what I think I will do after I recover this from my daughter, <laughs> put all of them, they seem to like, uh, like this thing, put all of these into all of these so it will be easier then to come from the top with the whole thing and put it all around in, uh, in these holes. So, let's get to it. Okay, this spider is ready, so I'm going to come with it on top of the rest of the frame. Okay, so this thing seems to be ready, sturdy enough, as much as you could expect from uh, my, my daughter's already putting stuff on it. <laughs> as much as you could expect from this plastic, hopefully this will make it even sturdier when it uh, goes on top of it but yeah it's not really flimsy but if a kid uh, leans on it uh, a bigger kid <laughs> yes this will get damaged so hopefully that makes it even even sturdier my one and a half year old is doing this as you can see as you can see started to put this thing on top of the tent itself Yes, it's it's extremely thin. It's uh, you know that beach balls, 
the, the big ones with stripes of colors. Yep, it's that kind of material, maybe a bit thicker. But anyway, looks good, what can I say? Okay, it's finished. Uh, as you can see, the sides are bowing in and uh, nothing that you can do about that. It's, it's the design. This thing stretches onto them. Uh, one of the poles on one side, I already put it in here. On the other side, it's not in. So obviously I will uh, disassemble this one and push it through this, uh, through this material in here. Come on camera, focus. Okay, it's assembled, daughter's running around it. I didn't pull the material too much for the moment. Uh, I want to let it slowly stretch, so I, we don't put too much pressure on these plastics. And yes, they are pulling this thing on all sides and they are quite happy, so that's good. But uh, yeah, hopefully this will survive, but uh, it's not a long-term solution, honestly. Uh, if you want long term, go with something like this. This will withstand the hurricane if needed and I will put a, a video in the description of uh, this one. Really good product. Hopefully this will last at least a while. Okay, this thing has been used for a few days and it's all good. It's surviving really well. Obviously, it's not meant for indoors, but for a quick play, you can set it also indoors. I think it's meant more uh, for, I don't know, the, the spring, uh, autumn, for example, you go somewhere with the kids, you set this thing up in a few minutes and let them play something like that. It's also not something that you permanently set in your, in your yard because a gasp of uh, wind will blow this thing away. So, yeah, there's that. So I'm uh, taking it down for the moment and uh, gathering all the toys, joy of having kids, anyway, so this thing seems to be good, better than I expected the first time when I saw uh, what it is actually, I like it, I recommend you you get one for your kids, Yeah, I don't think you can use it in the summer, I think it will be extremely hot and humid inside, so I, ah, not in the middle of the day for a fact, maybe in the evening or something, who knows, but yeah, that's about it. Hope this video helps you, in which case, please give it a like, check out my other videos, and as always, see you in the next one. Bye. Just wanted to brag that I managed to put everything back in the box, and it only took about half an hour, uh, I mean five minutes, It only five minutes, yeah, and in five minutes it was all in the box, yeah, for sure.